my family. Now, Prince William has said that this year has been the hardest year of his life. And multiple tabloids in the UK have reported about this. For example, Daily Mail on its front page wrote this and I quote, William, it has been brutal for us all. The mayor said this, I'm so proud of my wife and my father, but it has been the hardest year of my life. It has been brutal, said Prince William. William on family struggle. The Sun tablet owned by Rupert Murdoch himself wrote this on the front page. Wills on Kate and King's cancers. Brutal. Dreadful for family. Hardest year of my life. Said the Sun tablet on their front page. Now my family, let me just say this. By all means, it is important for anyone to be able to share the struggles that they face or endure. I encourage anyone, no matter who they are, if you are struggling, speak up and share. It is important to do that. But my family, think about this. When Harry and Meghan shared their struggles, shared their experiences in the farm, they were told to stop whinging. They were accused of whinging, complaining, mourning, and they were told never complain, never explain, and that they should get on with it. I remember vividly Prince Harry in the interview he did with ITV's Tom Bradby when promoting his memoir Spare. He spoke about Meghan sharing how, when she was in the royal family, how she thought even of taking her own life. Because the bullying and the abuse she was experiencing at the hands of the UK tablets who are following orders of William, Charles, Kate, and Camilla to attack her. How, despite Meghan sharing her struggles, that was the time for UK media to back off and just leave Meghan alone. Instead, the attacks on Meghan increased right after she shared how she was struggling. How my family, she was struggling in the royal family. How she even thought, contemplated doing the worst to herself, taking her own life. And my family, Harry himself said these words, Instead of Wikimedia backing off, they increased their attacks on Meghan and Prince Harry. And that's why even Prince Harry decided to share more on Spare, on what indeed happened to him and Meghan when they were in the royal fold. And every single time we have seen Harry and Meghan sharing, about what they've gone through, their own personal experiences. They've been accused of whinging, mourning, and complaining. And then all of a sudden, when William shares his own personal struggles, nobody says you're whinging. Nobody says he's mourning. Nobody says get on with it. Nobody says, oh, William, you live in a palace. Keep quiet, you know. Speaking about your troubles, your problems. You know what? People in the UK don't live in a palace. You don't hear that. You don't hear that. You don't hear that. But when it's Harry and Meghan sharing their own personal experiences, they're told, keep quiet. Oh, you know what? You lived in a, in a palace. Everything you had, you were paid for by the taxpayer. You know, move on. You know, what problems, what struggles are you facing? What problems on this Harry Meghan? You know, my family, really, the reason why I even made this video is to highlight the double standards we are seeing on how William is treated when he shares his so-called personal struggles versus when Harry Meghan, you know, share what they experience, my family. 
their personal struggles. Harry made an attack for it, my family. But William is coddled. Hello, William. It's okay. It is so nice you've shared. By all means, I encourage anyone, even William himself, if he has, you know, if he has personal struggles, by all means, I encourage him to talk about my family. I encourage him to talk about it. I encourage any single person who experiences any personal struggles to talk about it. I encourage everyone to do so. It is the right thing. It is good for your mental health. But also my family. You know, the thing is, you can see, that that's what I've said. Regardless of my, my family opinions or views about Prince William, my family, I am always on the side of good. Always. Why can't the other side do the same thing? Why can't William, Charles, Kate, can Camilla, UK Media, the tabloids, why can't they understand when Harry and Meghan are sharing their personal struggles? Why can't they be understanding? Why? My family, that's my main issue here. That is my main problem here. Because if you remember reading Harry's memoir spear, you will learn the prince had even was terrified. He was scared of sharing, you know, his problems. What he, what he was going through inside. Because of fear of the backlash from the UK tabloid media. In fact, let me read you Harry's memoir spear. So that you can see yourself with your own two eyes the hypocrisy that we are seeing right now. Whereby not a single member of the Rorota is accusing William of mourning, whinging, complaining when he has shared his personal struggles. But when it's Harry Meghan, they accuse them of whinging, mourning, complaining. And then they should keep quiet. My family, that double standards has got to stop. It has got to stop. It has got to stop. It is wrong. It has got to stop. Let me read you Harry's memoir spare, my family, of what Harry said, what he, my family, went through. You know? And I quote, I got around to talking about the deep rage. The ostensible trigger for sticking her out in the first place. I described the scene with Megan in the kitchen, Prince Harry, when he was talking to my family, his therapist. Harry then said, and I quote, I shook my head. I vented about my family. Pa and Willie, Camilla, I frequently stopped myself mid-sentence at the sound of passers-by outside the window if they ever knew Prince Harry in there yapping about his family, his problems, all oh, the papers would have a field day. So my family, you can hear yourself what Harry was afraid of. My family, what Harry was afraid of. His fear appears to be what the papers would write about you know my family what he was for example saying to his therapist if anybody heard what he was saying he was afraid about the backlash of him speaking openly about his struggles about the problems he had with camilla charles and william harry was afraid of uk media finding out my family about my family is uh him, you know, basically talking about to his therapist, his problem that he had with Camilla, Charles, and Prince William. And even a fight that he had with Megan in the kitchen. My family. You know, that Harry was very, very, you know, regretful of. My family, for Prince Harry, he was terrified. He was scared about sharing his own personal struggles for fear of what others would think. For fear of what UK Media's reaction would be. 
He was fearful of that. You know? And my family, when he had the courage after so long, you know, after so much, you know, silence, putting up with abuse, racism, and then when Harry finally speaks up, my family speaks up in the Oprah interview, what happened? Did you community understand the struggle that Megan was facing? My family, no, they did not care. They didn't even care about Megan confessing that she had suicidal ideations when she was in the raw fold. UK media did not even care. One bit about that. They kept on attacking even more. In fact, they increased their attacks right after the Oprah interview, targeting Meghan in particular and Prince Harry. My family. And that's why when Harry was even promoting Spare, he said when Meghan shared about what she went through in the raw fold, about her even thinking about taking on life, about that painful moment, you know, all those, you know, attacks, the bullying, the abuse that affected Megan's mental health, despite Megan sharing that. UK media never ever stopped their attacks on her. You know, instead of stopping and just reflecting on what they were doing to her, or what they were putting Megan through, they increased their attacks on Megan. And Prince Harry felt so sad about that. You know? Of how UK tablets were continuing to dehumanize Megan. To dehumanize the woman that my family, he loves, the mother of his children. My family. When someone shares their struggles, it is important to listen and do better by that person. My family is important. But sadly, it's like there are different rules for Prince William and different rules for Harry and Meghan. For Harry and Meghan, when they're struggling, when they have problems, they're supposed to keep quiet and never complain, never explain. When William and Kate have any problems, it is okay for them to complain, to explain. It's okay. By all means, personally, I'm a good man and I support William in my family, him sharing his struggles. By all means. My father, by all means, I encourage anyone who has any mental health struggles to speak up. My family, if you have any problem, just speak up. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet inside. Speak up. But also, my family, I want every single person, my family, in the world to also give others a chance a chance to speak up i want to see uk tabloids also when harry megan shared their own stories their own struggles let them be applauded for sharing their experiences and to those who have bullied and abused harry megan let them apologize for all the pain that they have clearly caused to both Harry and Meghan, to even Harry and Meghan's kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lily Diana. Don't forget that Harry and Meghan suffered the pain that no parent should ever have to go through. Harry and Meghan lost a child. They lost a child. A child that they wanted to have. A child, a baby. A family. Don't forget that. And Harry blames that on the stress that the Daily Mail who are working with Prince William and Jason North played a huge part in putting Meghan through so much stress that Meghan and Harry lost their child. In my family, we always say that those who have played a part in the bullying, the abuse of Harry and Meghan, mostly Meghan, can never ever last a day in Meghan's shoes. My family, when we say that, we mean Prince William. We mean every single person who has ever made insulting comments about Megan. I can promise you one thing. They can never ever last a day in either Harry or Megan's shoes. Never. Never. And my family, that's the truth and nothing but the truth. They can't. 
They just can't. They just can't. And my family, what I find hypocritical is that even when Megan shared in the Oprah interview that she had my family suicidal ideation family, that she had suicidal ideations, what I find so kind of um, hypocritical is that UK media, and actually sad, is that UK media were doubting what Megan was saying. Yet they clearly knew what Megan was going through. They knew. They knew what Megan went through. It's like they thought that the bullying and abuse of Megan and racism plus Megan did not have an effect on her. Surely. 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 For, for eight years, bullying one woman and you think that person, you won't affect her. Surely. Even you can media know that they deeply, you know, affected Megan so much. They caused her pain. They caused her suffering. And my family, they were cruel towards Megan. And they're still cruel towards her. That's very clear. And my family, their actions are unacceptable. Megan being a woman of color does not mean that she's not a human being. She is a human being. Megan has feelings, emotions. She has a mother. For my family, I remember even seeing a picture of Doria running a suicide prevention marathon. At the time, I had no idea why she was doing it. But she was doing it because she found out and heard of how Megan was struggling in the royal family. But did senior members of the royal family care? No, they did not care. Did William care? No. In fact, in Harry's most spare, Harry tells us that William made Megan cry when Megan was pregnant. But Harry, after William and Kate had their first child, I remember vividly, and I won't ever forget this, I remember Harry being interviewed and asked about my family, William and Kate's firstborn child, George. Harry told the media to back off. When has William ever done the same thing for Prince Harry? When? 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 You know, it's okay for William to share his personal struggles. But also, he needs to have a hard look deep down himself. Deep down himself. He needs to have a meeting with himself deep down, deep down. And think about this. William, if you ever endured what Harry and Meghan have to go through, the bullying, abuse, harassment, negative press, lies being told about you on a daily basis, William, would you be able to handle a fraction of what Harry and Meghan have to go through? William, could you ever withstand to put up with a fraction of what her and Megan have had to go through. William, would you like that to happen to you? My family, I'm sure that William's answer would be no. He would not like what has happened to her and Megan to happen to him. So then why does he inflict pain, suffering, and harm onto her and Megan? Why? Why? I always remember... Megan's reaction upon uh, finding out that William's employee, Jason Noff, had issued a statement against her in court. Megan said to Prince Harry, it is your brother. It is him. It is your brother. It's so obvious. It's him. And Megan was right. It was him. It was William. William was the one, my family, who was going after Megan in particular with the aim of destroying her. With the aim of breaking her, my family, just so, just, just, just so he can, you know, destroy Harry Megan's marriage to prop himself up so that he can get good press. Just so he can see his brother destroyed. Just so he can benefit from that. Make no mistake, my family, even this goal of destroying Harry Megan's marriage, it is meant to benefit Prince William and Kay Morton. It is meant to prop Prince William up. It is meant to paint William in a positive light 
and Harry Meghan in a negative light. It is meant to undermine Harry Meghan to prop up William and Kimilton. That's why even they attack Harry and Meghan so badly, mostly Meghan. Because they know that if they can destroy Harry and Meghan's marriage, they destroy the spare's life. They destroy the spare's influence. They destroy the spare's star power, which is what William and Charles have been working towards for so long, using UK terrorists as a weapon against Harry and Meghan. My family, using UK tablets as a weapon against Harry Meghan. That's what they've done. That's sadly what they've done. You know? And my family, you know, William has caused tremendous pain towards Meghan and Harry himself. You know? And today he's sharing, um, my family, yesterday, my family, four days ago, he shared about uh, his personal struggles this year. Which by all means, I encourage him to do so. My family. But then also, William, be fair. Be fair. You can't complain when Harry and Meghan share the experiences or struggles. At the same time, you know, you yourself, you know, are happy with sharing your struggles. But then you have a problem, an issue when Harry and Meghan do it. William. That is hypocritical. That is hypocritical. And it just sends a message of how you and your Kita Bridge, this carnival of so-called experts that work for you and serve you, you know, how they feel like it's okay to dehumanize Harry Meghan while also my family humanizing William and Kim Houghton. That, that That isn't right. We are, we are all human beings, my family. And everyone has every right in the world to be treated with basic, my family, you know, human, you know, dignity. To be accorded, my family, you know, good, kind treatment. Human dignity, basic human, my family, dignity. And it's sad that William is a someone who has, my family, not extended that to his brother and to his brother's wife. In fact, all he has done ever since he found out that Harry and Meghan were dating is that he has tried so hard to ruin Harry and Meghan's relationship. Don't forget, according to Harry's memoir, Harry tells us that William told him that he must be okay, that Harry must be okay, that he may never ever find true love. What kind of a brother does that to you? It even tells you that. What kind of a brother tells you that? What kind of someone who, who, who claims to love you? How can someone tell you that? How can someone tell you that? And think it's okay? How can you tell your brother, your friend even, that you may never ever find true love and you must be okay with it? How is that acceptable? You know? By all means, as I've said, and I'll keep saying this, I encourage William sharing his personal struggles. I encourage it. It is good for one's mental health. But to the UK media who have attacked Harry Meghan for sharing the personal struggles, shame on you. Shame on you for lacking ethics. Shame on you for being biased. Shame on you for the double standards you keep showing. Shame on you for the racism that you keep that they keep on, you know, showing of how you have subjected Megan so much racism that you do you don't see her as a human being. That isn't right. That isn't right. My family, we condemn racism in the strongest terms possible. We condemn racism in the strongest terms possible. And clearly, my family, UK media, have been extremely racist towards Megan and towards Harry and Megan's kids. And sadly, they have been aided and supported by senior members of the royal family. And it's so sad that I'm even saying this. So sad. Extremely sad. Extremely sad. It is sad to find out 
that Charles and Kim Milton were the senior members of the royal family who had concerns about Archie's skin color. It is sad to even find that out. Very sad. Very sad. And utterly disappointing. You know? My family. It is important to create a society, a culture, whereby every single person is free to my family articulate their wishes. To my family, you know, speak openly about what they have gone through, about what they have experienced. It is okay to do that. And don't shame this person, in the case of Harry Meghan, for sharing the personal struggles while praising William for doing the same thing. That is hypocritical. That is hypocritical. If Harry Meghan dared right now to even come out and say, this year has been very, very difficult. I can promise you, multiple carnival, all so-called experts would accuse Harry Meghan of mourning, of whinging, of complaining. But then when William does it, it's okay. And my family, it, it is, it is, it is it's okay to share your personal struggles. I want to emphasize that. I want to overemphasize that. But let's be fair. It is important that we be fair. It is, it is very, very important that my family there is fairness. Whereby anyone who wishes to my family articulate their struggles, their experiences, let them be able to do so without being attacked, without being abused, without being insulted. My family, let's, let, let's create a fair society whereby people in my family are treated with kindness. My family. Whereby human beings, my family, are accorded, you know, my family, you know, basic kind treatment. Treated, my family treat, treated with basic human, my family dignity. You know? My family, I find that to be very, very important. Very, very, my family, important. You know? My family, Harry then says, you know, in spare. And I quote, which led us on to the subject of the press, former ground. I let fly my own countrymen and countrywomen, I said, showing such contempt, such vile disrespect to the woman I loved. Sure, the press had been close to me through the years, but that was different. I was born into it, and sometimes I'd ask for it, put it on myself. But this woman has done nothing to deserve such cruelty. And whenever I complained about it privately or publicly, people just rolled their eyes. They said I was whinging. Said I only pretended to want privacy. Said Meg was pretending as well. Oh, she is getting chased. Is she? Wow, wow, wow. Give us a break. She'll be fine. She's an actress. She used to perhaps, in fact, wants them. But nobody wanted this. No one would ever get used to it. All those ironers could not take 10 minutes of it. Exactly! Exactly! Exactly what we've been saying. Those who attack Harry Meghan can never ever take even 10 minutes of what they put Harry Meghan through. Then why should Harry Meghan go through what even you yourself cannot go through? Or even I myself, my family, cannot even deal with personally? I can't. My family. Megan was having panic attacks for the first time in her life. For the first time in her life. She's never had them. But ever since, UK media began harassing her, attacking her. Megan began having panic attacks for the first time in her life. My family. I'd even say this also. Megan never ever needed a psychiatrist or a therapist. All her life until... She joined the royal family until she and Harry began going out. That's when Megan needed a therapist, needed my family, you know, someone to talk to, to share my family her mental health struggles. My family. And when Harry speaks about the toxicity that exists in the royal family, he's accused of whinging, 
of mourning, of complaining, of somehow betraying the whole family by doing what, by being truthful. The fact is, life in the family is toxic. And Harry was honest about him in the family. It is. Because it is. And you can meet the, the even the family, the evidence of all that. They back up everything Harry has said, my family. They back up everything. By constantly attacking my family, Harry and Meghan, they back up everything Harry and Meghan have said about what life in the farm is. It is toxic. It is toxic. My family. You know? And my family also, Diana, she never ever needed the family a therapist until she joined the royal family. So, so my family, there needs to be a conversation about this toxicity you know, of, of basically life in the royal family, in the royal family, in Britain's royal family. There needs to be a conversation about that. That way, even my family, if Britain is to keep the monarchy, that future royals don't have to suffer. My family, the man, Harry, who is trying to end this cycle of suffering, trauma passed on for Father Charlie, is being attacked for it. For daring to say, I suffered. I don't want my kids to suffer in family. UK media are going after his kids. UK media are expressing so much interest you know, towards Harry and Meghan's kids because my family had to force access to Harry and Meghan's kids and that is unacceptable. It is wrong. My family, they want to do to Harry and Meghan's kids what they've done to them and it is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. My family, we need to keep on condemning the, the bullying you've seen Harry Meghan facing and condemn the actions of UK media, of my family harassing Harry Meghan and the firm also for being complicit in the attacks and abuse and bullying that Harry Meghan have had to face and endure at the hands of the toxic British media. You know, William, you have shared your personal struggles. It's fine. But also, when Harry and Meghan share what they have experienced because of you, because of you working with tablets to destroy Harry and Meghan, don't complain. Don't complain. Support Harry and Meghan. Support them. And issue an apology to Harry and Meghan, mostly Meghan, for the pain you have caused and put them through. Issue an apology to Prince Harry. For the pain you've caused him. And Megan. My family. All of a sudden, UK media are okay with people sharing personal struggles. But my family, they're okay when you're William, when you're the heir to the throne. My family, the double standards has got to stop. It has got to end. It has got to end, my family. And my family, it has got to stop. And so right now, I want to hear your opinion of my family on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Elizabeth, Diana, and Doria Ragland, and all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to this video. Love you all, so and may God bless you, my family. And may your weapon to this Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Elizabeth, Diana, my family, ever prosper. My family, stay tuned to this video. Love you all and forever. Hello, members of Zetka Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustice, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.